Hi everybody, today in math class we worked on writing expressions in which letters stand for numbers. So here we have different scenarios and we're going to take those scenarios and write them out how they would look mathematically. So we're going to first start by underlining the keywords and just make a little symbol of what those keywords actually mean. And then we'll turn that expression into uh, those the words into an algebraic expression. So Amaya picked X amount of apples, took a break, and then picked V more. So the first thing we can see is I've got a keyword of more, and when I see that keyword more, I think addition. So write the expression that models the total number of apples that Amaya picked. Well, she first picked X, and after she picked X amount and took a break, then she took V more. So just simply X amount of apples plus V more apples. Number two, a number H is tripled and then decreased by eight. So we need to underline our words that are keywords here. So tripled and decreased. When I see tripled, I think times three. And when I see the word decreased, I think subtraction. So if I have the number H, whatever value that H, if it's being tripled, it's H times three. And with algebra, we always put the number before the letter when we write using as few symbols as possible. 3H signifies three times the value of H. And then it says decreased by. So and then lets me know it comes afterwards. And then decreased by eight. And number three, Sydney brought carrots to school, S, S carrots to school, and then combined them with Jenin's J carrots. Then she splits them equally among eight friends. So I've got to find my keywords, and I can see right away I've got this word combined, which I know refers to addition. And then I have this word splits, that usually means you're dividing something up, and especially when it's splitting them equally. Um, so let's go ahead and start with the first part. We have S carrots and combined with Jenin's J carrots. So I'm going to write it like S plus J. And then division can be used as a fraction bar, divided by eight friends equally. I can write it like that. The other way I can write it, I would have to use parentheses. Um, so if I'm going to do some combining, that's another way that's saying, hey, I'm putting these together first. The S amount plus the J amount of carrots. And after I do that, what am I going to do once they all get put together? I'm going to divide them equally by the eight friends. So this way needed the parentheses to make sure that you combine the S and J together. But when you're looking at the fraction bar way, the fraction bar way actually already splits the numerator section from the denominator section. The you're splitting your dividend and your divisor into two separate groups. So you can see that S and J has to be added together first before you're dividing. So I hope those examples help see how we took the word form scenarios and then turned them into an algebraic expression. So make a difference today.